Hey, hey, welcome to another episode. I'm Dr. Frankensteel. If you want to find out what's inside of a tumbler and if you can use it for a crucible, stay tuned. So, for people that don't know metal casting, this is a crucible. Crucible is used to put into the foundry where the heat is, where you melt down metal. You can see a bunch of aluminum dross in there. Get that out before I use it again. I can try to melt all this crap down again, but it's really not worth it. It's it's aluminum. I have a whole bunch of it, so it's like, hey, whatever. Now, first of all, okay, metal casting. When you're casting something, let's say we're casting this, like I cast this in my other video. You want to melt down enough aluminum to fill up cavity and more. You want to fill up the whole thing in one shot. You don't want to melt, okay, it's halfway full, then have to melt again and pour more. It's it's not going to come out all that great. It's not going to be a solid piece. There's going to be layers to it, and it could come apart. You want to pour the whole thing. Now, the project that I'm working on, this won't work. It just simply won't melt enough volume for the project. I could get a bigger crucible, but then if I get a bigger crucible, I'd have to order it, and then I would also have to remake my foundry for the crucible to fit in. And after I'm done using that big crucible, it's probably going to be sitting on my shelf for a long time because I don't do this a lot. I'm a metal fabricator. I don't cast all the time. I'm just, this is just experimentation for right now until I need it in the future. It's something I've never done. So I don't want to get a new crucible. I want to see if I could use something else that will pour enough volume so I can fill up that cavity of the mold in one shot. So I had an idea. Coffee tumbler. They are made from stainless steel. Stainless steel melts around 2700 degrees. Aluminum melts around 1200. You can look up the numbers, do all the checking and whatnot. Fact check me. I don't care. That's what I'm doing. Don't quote me on the temperatures. I could be wrong. But stainless steel is a higher has a higher melting point than aluminum. Aluminum melts at a very low temperature. What I'm gonna do is take the tumbler I don't want anymore and cut it open, see if I can use it. Because these tumblers actually have two sleeves. They have the inner sleeve and the outer sleeve. There's an air gap between the two. I don't know if it's air or if it's foam or some other kind of material, but there is two layers in there. I'm gonna see if I can use it as a crucible. I don't want the coffee cup anymore, so might as well, right? The shot. If it gives me one pour, that's a win. That's all I need to end. There might be two sleeves in there, so I can get two pours out of it. That's cool.
So, coffee cup worked. I only got one pour out of each. This is my first pour. It actually developed a small pinhole in the bottom of my second firing. It all started leaking out the bottom of the uh, foundry. I had steel underneath the foundry, so it just leaked onto the steel on the outside. It wasn't too bad to get out. Oh well, it's trash anyways. But you can see, you can see that small hole. It is everywhere. I wanted to pour more, so I used the inner sleeve. This is the inner sleeve. It was an it was an air gap in between. There was no foam or any kind of filler or whatever. But uh, this one got weak. See how it kind of melted down around the bottom. This is like this happened after the fact. But you can see how the aluminum is like seeping out. It stood up to one pour. And then it was done after that. Yeah, the heat thinned it out. Stainless has a very low thermal conductivity, meaning it'll heat a, the heat will want to stay in one spot and not want to travel. Uh, rather than aluminum, aluminum has a high thermal conductivity where it will, once, once it heat up in one spot, the heat will travel as fast as it can. Low thermal conductivity, high thermal conductivity. Lightweight, heavy. A little bit of metallurgy for you. So yeah, coffee tumbler work, kind of different. Good to know. Maybe I might need to use it again. If you want to see more of this content, like and subscribe. And uh, stay tuned for more content from me. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.